Now, Scott, I know you also like uh, not only just looking at what are the top groups, but how big of a move maybe you're seeing for a certain industry group. If it goes from, you know, 180 to 100, that uh, sort of puts it on your radar. Can you talk a little bit about uh, that part of your industry group analysis? Yeah, so I'm not as good at Excel as as uh, Justin is. So I think he does the same thing, but he just lets Excel do the work. I just <laughs> I just let my eyes do the work, so I eyeball it. So if you pull up the industry groups, mm-hmm. and I always pull and cover the whole chart so that I can see them, and then if I have it sorted based on um, you know industry group rank currently, which I think you do, correct. So I'm going to start my eye on the column that says IND group rank three months. In other words, what was the group three months ago? And then I'm just going to look across. So I'm looking for exactly a, a, a big change like retail leisure products, 99.34. What I'd prefer is 170.30, right? Something that's moving in that direction. The one that jumped out to me this week, and the thing is you don't, you do this each week and there'll only be a couple of groups that jump out at you that do this. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times you'll be like, Oh, well, I already looked at that group. I know what I'm going to buy in that group, or I know there's nothing to buy, but the one that jumped out at me was, um, uh, medical hospitals. Uh, I think right now it's 97, 14, 18. It's already updated. I think this weekend it was 99, 20, 14 or something. It had that, that kind of, uh, trend. And then like what uh, um, Justin said, I can see there are nine stocks. It's not that deep a group. The one above it, you'll see retail wholesale is one, right? So if I see one, it's just like, okay, that's not that important. So I would like the group to be a little deeper, but let's just use this as an example. I would double click medical hospitals. It'll pull up the chart for you. And then on the right-hand side in the related information panel, you just open that up and just choose stocks and group, exactly that. And now the way it's ordered there, medical hospital is from big to small. So HCA is the largest market cap, but big to small is not that important in what we do, right? We want the best companies. So you click that button down below, it says show all component data and MarketSmith will resort them based on the RS and EPS rating. So it takes those two numbers, adds them together. And so SBY, is that the is there SSY? Mm-hmm. Um, has the largest combination of EPS and RS. And so you get a, I think it's a better sort. It's not perfect, but it's a better sort than just size. So it, it looks click. like right now it's off of RS rating. Yeah, I think yeah, it may, it may oh, have remembered sorted it before. something yeah. I That's right, you have earlier. it sorted already. Yeah. yeah, it's number seven, it looks like, right? So there okay. we go. I thought that was weird, 99.24. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that, this group's pretty lousy. Yeah, so select medical is the best in that regard. And you just tab through and it's nine stocks. So, you know, by two or three stocks, if there's nothing to buy, I, I just, I stop, I'm done. I mean, I don't find that the ninth stock is going to be something that I'll probably buy if I don't like one, two, or three. And so I usually look at roughly 20%. So if there's 20 stocks, I might look at, you know, five or six, et cetera. And then I, you know, move on to the next one. So it's a weekly exercise and I do it once a weekend and it, it doesn't take that long. It's 15 to 30 minutes tops and usually more on the 15 side. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.